Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day today. Today we get to do something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, and you all know that my passions are the pipe organ and Disney World, so today we're going to combine those two and take a look at the organs of Disney World, specifically of the Magic Kingdom. So let's head out, there are three that we're going to take a look at today, so let's head to the first one. When you think of pipe organs in Disney World, I'm sure the first thing that came to your mind was not the Swiss Family Treehouse. And while we don't have a true pipe organ in this attraction, we do have something of sorts. So let's go up there and check it out. The first room that we come to in the Swiss Family Treehouse is the living room, which happens to be where we find our first organ. Now, as I've said, it's not a true pipe organ, but it's what's known as a pump organ or a reed organ. Reed organs were invented in the late 1700s and became quite popular in the early to mid 1800s, especially in homes and small churches. The Robinson family was shipwrecked in 1805, so it makes sense that they would have had one of these instruments on their ship. Reed organs are more versatile in their sounds than pianos and are much more portable than pipe organs. These instruments function by blowing air over different styles of reeds, which gives us a small variety of stops. Pipes are only rarely used, but as you can see, this particular organ does have a few. Also, on reed organs, there is no pedal board, as the player needs to use both feet to pump the bellows to provide the air for the instrument. Our next two organs are conveniently located in the same attraction, and it's probably the attraction you've been thinking of from the start of this video. It's located not too far from here, but since it's not every day I get a chance to record in the Magic Kingdom, we're going to take the scenic route. I'll see you over there. I never took them off. So as you probably guessed, we have arrived at the Haunted Mansion, my absolute favorite attraction here in the Magic Kingdom, and the site of our last two organs on our little tour today. So we're going to go ahead, the first one is in the queue, we'll take a look at it, and if you ever fancied yourself maybe wanting to be an organist, you actually have a chance to play one of these. Sort of. Let's go take a look at it. Our second organ is unusual in many ways. First of all, it's outside, which is probably not the best place to keep a musical instrument in Florida. Second, it seems to have hydropneumatic action, meaning that it uses a combination of water and air to produce its sounds. This is evidenced by the mist that sometimes comes out of the instrument. Finally, it would appear that this particular organ has been tampered with by prankish spirits. They've stolen the pedal board and the stop knobs and petrified the entire thing. However, this instrument is still playable and will respond to touch, 
Of course, it only plays one song. As you can see, this is a two-manual Ravenscroft organ, so named for the legendary voice actor Thurl Ravenscroft, who voiced several of the ghosts in the Haunted Mansion, as well as characters in other Disney attractions. And if you're not sure who Thurl Ravenscroft is, well, let's just say that Ravenscroft organs, they're great! Now for our last organ, we need to head inside the mansion itself. The happy haunts have received your sympathetic vibrations. One of the and most famous scenes in the Haunted Mansion is the ballroom scene. This is where our grim grinning ghosts begin to appear in a grand party, complete with dancing, dueling, and of course, music. At the far end of the room from where we enter, we find our final pipe organ. Not much is known about this instrument because while the spirits are happy to let us pass through and observe their little gala, they do not take kindly to foolish mortals attempting to join in. From what we can see of this instrument, it is a two-manual pipe organ, though apparently without a pedal board, and it has a fairly large number of stops. And of course, we have our spectral organist, who, if you look really closely, you might just recognize as Captain Nemo, one-time captain of the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and now eternal organist here in the Haunted Mansion. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tour of the organs of the Magic Kingdom. There are more pipe organs to be found at Disney World, but that will have to be a video for another day. Before we go though, I want to offer you a challenge. There is another attraction here in the Magic Kingdom where you can find organ music. You won't see the organ, but you can hear it. So my challenge to you is go down to the comments and let me know what attraction you think that is, and I will reveal it in next week's video. I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and leave me a comment down below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you real soon.